Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter, first, uh, chapter 15 and verse 12. Early in the morning Samuel got up and went to meet Saul, but was told Saul has gone to Car uh, Carmel. There he has set up a monument in his own honor and has turned and gone down to Gilgal. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Now, Father, I pray that you would teach us from the example of Samuel and the example of Saul how we should obey your word and walk with you. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, beloved, I, today we, we, we have to talk about these two men, Samuel and Saul. Samuel, who receives the word of the Lord, Saul has not done what I told him to do. He's not obeyed my word. God said, I regret that I made him king. And Saul, who having received the word of the Lord to go and put, really put to the sword the, the Amalekites and destroy everything they had, didn't do it. We have two examples. And, and not the example of what they did that I just said, but what they did after it. See, Samuel, he stays up all night long crying out to the Lord. The next day he gets up and he goes and looks for Saul. He is going to go and confront Saul about the word of the Lord and about God's command. He is not going to let the matter rest. He is going to stand firm on what God has said to him and what God is demanding of him. Beloved, what a wonderful example for us that we should stand firm on the Word of God, that we should cling to the Word of God and not depart from it and not leave it and not abandon it, but walk in it in every way. Stand firm and testify about the Lord. Beloved, sometimes um, it's easy for us to take our lives and, and segment it. So I've got this Christian part of my life and I've got the part of my life where I'm a husband and a part of my life where I'm a, a father maybe and, and a part of my life where I work. And, and they overlap some, but they don't really impact the other. Beloved, instead we need to let Christian be who we are. And every part of our life is covered by who we are as a Christian. So the Word of God speaks to us and we do it. That's our first example. The example of Samuel. Then we have the example of Saul. And Saul is absent. He, he doesn't speak in our verse today, but he's present. Even though he's absent as a person, his impact is present. Samuel goes and looks for him. But he's not there. He's gone to Carmel. And what's he done? He's gone to set up a monument in his own arm. He's gone to glorify himself. He's king. So now he's king. And so why wouldn't he? Kings do that kind of thing all the time, right? Except he's a king put in place by the command of God. And he's not bringing glory to God's name. He's not glorifying the Lord. Instead, he's going and letting his own prominence rise. And Christians, we do that. I don't know how many times I catch myself, and it's a terrible thing. I've, I've truly been convicted by the Lord where I, I, I comes up. Where something happens and, I, and somehow I interject myself into that. Instead, beloved, let's interject the Lord Jesus Christ into it. Let's not put ourselves and glorify ourselves. That's what Saul did. He glorified himself. He disobeyed the Lord. He was walking in sin because he had the clear command of God and he didn't do it. He's walking in theft from the Lord and that this was all to be destroyed by command of the Lord and he kept some of it to enrich himself. And now he's glorifying. Two examples, beloved. The example of the man who stands firm in the Word of God, 
who walks in the word of God, who does not fear for his own life and instead goes and seeks the king to confront him about his evil. And then we have the example of the man who glorifies himself, who exalts his own name, who makes himself the center of attention, even though he's walking in disobedience to the word. Which person will we be today? I pray that we would be the one that would stand firm in the word of God and walk as the Lord tells us. May God bless you as you go about your day.